Oh, I get to turn some lights on. Joe can't turn them off. Right. This is my second attempt at recording anything for Space Overlord. Um, this is a paid review, and it, this is the review this time. I am not going to be chasing around after this. First of all, first impressions. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I really like the first impressions of this box. It's very neat, uh, very well presented. Inside, you've got uh, a nice manual with an activation key on the back, which I'm not showing you. Um, there's the brochure of other games in the series, of which Space Overlord is in the back. Uh, but I suppose the killer thing for any young boy who wants to play this is this rather nice poster. Which has got the Space Overlord moniker on the front and all the levels you can play on the back. And I thought it was quite nice. I did like that. I thought it was a nice touch. You don't often get it anymore, especially not with something that's primarily a digital download for Steam, which you can see in front of me. I've got Steam. Uh, obviously in here is a DVD. Didn't use this at all. Um, but the first thing that got me, and it did get me, and I had to contact support, was that the code I have here is not for Steam. Okay? And I don't know where the, the get start quick, you know, quickly stuff is. But I didn't uh, really read the manual. It's my own fault. It does say, please go to Excalibur Registration using the well-known internet browser. Any well -known. Enter this code and redeem your product code for Steam. My problem with that, and it's something that I contacted them about, is that they want your name, forename and surname, and they want your email address. Why? Because they show you this, the code in the browser on the screen. So all they're doing is collecting your email and your name and address to sell it to someone else. And I didn't like that. So I requested that they remove me from the database. And I put a funny name in as my forename and surname. Put my real email address because I thought maybe they'll email me the code to activate. But if I now get spam email with that particular name on it, I will know which company passed that on. And I won't be very happy. So, second thing, second, which is the right order. I put the code into Steam. I already have a Steam account. You can create a Steam account absolutely for free. Um, there's no problem doing that for anybody. Um, you need an email address. You need, you know, Steam installed from steampower.com. It's almost ubiquitous now. Anybody that's anybody has uh, a Steam account, and if you don't, and don't want to give your real email address for, for this code, create a Google one, create a Yahoo email address, whatever, they all work with this. So Space Overlords, what was my very first impression? Well, I'll hit play, and obviously I recorded the other day a video about this, and the big problem, the big problem that's giving this a big fat one star review beyond the registration problem is that you can't play it and I actually have a reply from Tom in the support department saying sorry we don't actually do the support and releases for this game so it's Calibre Games don't actually make this game they are just publishing it I assume second of all they have a known bug a recent update clears the input settings. So here's the launcher. This is not Steam. Steam can go away. This is the actual launcher. And here we can see input. You can see left, right, up, down. A, S, W, D. Um, it's actually very strange. D, A, W, S, W, A, S, D is the way we do that, surely. Up, left, bottom, back, right. That's the way it's always been done. W, A, S, D. Why is it D, A, W, S? Makes me think there's a screw loose somewhere. So, I also set it to match my monitor, so I'm putting it on my right hand monitor. Obviously, I'm looking at my left hand monitor. It's in great or normal settings, and you can pick all sorts of resolutions. I'm picking my monitor resolutions, and I'm running it full screen. Um, it's a DirectX 9C game, I believe. Yeah. So, DirectX 9C, which is ancient. So, I presume 12 hit combo are the actual game makers, whereas it's kind of the games are the publishers. And uh, it looks quite nice, you know, I look quite like this, it's a nice clear font, and you've got to continue. Um, and here's the third problem. Uh, so, 
not bad, you know, it's a plain vanilla game, it's quite cartoony looking. Press enter. I'm going to start a game in story mode. Story mode. Single player. New game. Why am I. Ba, 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 why so many things? So, yes, I'm going to start a new game. Now, let me show you something here. So, we've got these characters to pick from. It's all very simple, very good looking. It's, it's okay, it's cartoony, it's old looking graphics. Um, this is at least. Ooh. June 2008 at least graphics we're talking eight years old stuff eight year old terrorists. no idea what that said yes we'll play the tutorial level and so far you think it's fine it's no problem it's all good so we landed Terrabang. Nothing's happening. Nothing is working. I have no mouse cursor. Enter does nothing. Oh, did I do that? I don't think I did. I know if I press this. No. No. Let's try every key. Not one I've took a screenshot with Steam. That's it. That proves that my keyboard's working. But I nothing works. Nothing moves. And I can't even get out of the game. So all I can do there is con is uh, Alt and F4 to exit the game. Uh, I don't want to do anything like that. We'll play it up again. Anything? Definitely had the input there. So play again. You know, maybe maybe I can alter something. So I can't skip this. Can't alter it anyway. Yeah, continue. So I've got a mouse cursor, to enter. And then options. Oh, yeah, okay. Input config. Forward. Oh, it's blank, 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 blank. So let's change that. And you click here. Forward W. Backwards S. Left A. Right D. Speed. Space. High attack, left click. So defense is three, special is four, strength is two. Yep, save imports. Return to the main menu. Again, I'm clicking more things than I want to. Story mode, single player, new game. Yes. I'm doing a new game each time, I want to be fair. <laughs> Yep, what he said. Yes, I'll play the tutorial. Remember, this is a game for a seven year old. It's P Peggy 7. So, already I think the registration problem is too complex for a kid to worry about. The fact that it now doesn't work, I cannot move, is not. Fun. This just doesn't. Nothing works. Nothing is working. So, and I've contacted them about this, and it's just, you know, no use whatsoever. In fact, I will, if I just uh, pop open a new browser window, this is our logon off, uh, off screen. Oh, that's my caps lock key is on. So yeah, Space Overlords. Not very impressed right now. I'm very disappointed in that actually. So there's nothing you know a lot we can do. Here we go. So this was the first reply from Tim. Uh, this seems to be an issue which snuck into the game in a recent update. Currently the key bindings are set to zero for all controls on first load. You can change this by going to the options and manually setting the controls. We'll of course get this fixed ASAP. However, the game does fully work and support any controller, so it may be worth playing the game with one if you have one available. Yeah. This is a controller. It might be called a keyboard, but it's a controller. Okay? I'm not going to be plugging a gamepad or a joystick in 
for this game. It is not what I want to do. So that's officially from Tim Boss in their support department. Uh, first class simulations, I'll have to look up. I don't know who they are. They may be unrelated to this situation. But Excalibur are the publisher, I believe. And I think that 12 hit points, folks, they're the actual makers. 12 hit combo. So, but they're not they're not the only ones. Let me just slide this back off screen because I don't want you reading the rest of my mail. Let's just have a look at the other reply. So you'll notice on the if you watch carefully, this is a, a later time. This is uh, Wednesday, ten fifteen. Uh, sorry, you are correct. So I, I pointed out that he may have not watched my previous video in full. Uh, I do change the key bindings, and it still didn't allow me to move. Okay, so this is exactly what we've just recorded. Sorry, you're correct, and I do apologise for not getting all the way through. Didn't watch it all. It wasn't a long video, Tim. It really wasn't. So, I have sent an email directly to the developers to see what is going on, as we do not control the uploads slash development for this. I hope I have a better answer for you by the end of the day. That was Wednesday. It's now Thursday, 11pm at night. So, I've given them two days effectively, two working days and I've heard nothing and I've got to get this review done so this is the end of my video review for this particular title it's unfortunately getting a one star review and probably saying don't touch it with a, with a barge pole I wished, I wished I could be more positive this is a really nice touch, it's perfect for a gift or for giving to a seven year old but you're ultimately going to let them completely down because it does not work. Bye-bye.